it'll sound like a broken record this afternoon, but already we've seen how they've missed Ricky Stewart. Now Dimmick sorts his way up the centre. They're only 25 metres out, Canterbury. Sedaris tears ahead. Good run. 15 out now. Pay a dummy half. Lamb. Goes his up, cut straight through. Terry Lamb shoots straight between them. An amazing try. Because the defence laid right off him. They thought he was going to pass it wide. Lamb sends the opportunity. Cut off his left foot, straight through a hole which opened up and scrambled over the line. Canterbury leads 6-0. Lamb here holding the ball in front. They looked at his supports, the defenders, and over he goes in the arms of Belcher. Yeah, this bloke only gets better. Terry Lamb shaping the kick. The Canberra players laid off him off his left foot. And a beautiful four-pointer there by Terry Barba Lamb, the favourite son here at Belmore. He landed his first goal from right in front. This is a little harder. It's between the posts as well. A fine start for the Bulldogs. They lead eight points to nil. Ten minutes of play gone. As we see here, carrying the ball in two hands for all you youngsters out there. Gives him the option to kick, pass, or run himself as he did then. Good little sidestep inside the big front row. Inside uh, Lomax and Hetherington. Over for a four-pointer. He's an inspiration to this side, Terry Lamb. One of the regrets of my career is I didn't, never got to play with him. Well, I did, Jacko, and uh, it was in his earlier years, and he was a great player from the outset. He virtually went straight into first grade. Everyone knew he was a talent. Mark Brackenshire hits it up. In fact, one of the reasons that Terry Lamb is still going around is his desire to win a premiership, another premiership with Canterbury. 